Okay, lesson 115. <clears throat> this one is on writing percents as fractions part two. So, you've had a previous learning. For example, um, if I were to write something was uh, 40%, how would I write that as a fraction? As a fraction, that would be oh, 4 over 10. Well, yes, but what is it first before you reduce? What is all percents? Over... Oh, point? It'd be no, no, no. What all percents, what is a total percent? Oh, 100%. 100%. So, 40 over 100. 40 over 100 <coughs> is 40%. Before but then when you reduce, if I divide by 10... Two over 5. Right? If I divide by 10, it basically crosses out the zeros. Dividing by 10 does. Okay, and then so now we have 4 tenths, which then two, five. 2 will go into both of them. 2 will go into two, 4 2 times, 2 will go into 10 5 times. Final answer, 2 fifths. <coughs> okay, let's do one more of those to make sure you're confident. Let's do 75%. What does that look like as a 75 over 100? Very good. Okay, and then, then how do I reduce that? Do it by 5. 5 will go into both of them. 5 will go into 75. Let's look, I don't know. 15 times. Okay. So 5 will go into 75 15 times. 5 will go into 120 20 times. Okay, and that will still reduce. 5 will go into 15 uh, 3 times. Three, and 5 will go into 20 four. 4 times. Final answer? 3 3 fourths. Okay. Using that same idea, watch what's going to happen right here. This may freak you out. 3 and 1 third percent. Now, you may think, oh, it's already in fraction form, but not just fraction form. This is actually a percent, three and a third percent, three and a half percent, well, whatever. Well, I think I can get it into decimal number. Okay, yeah. so let, let's actually do, um, let's do um, improper. Can we do that? Okay. <coughs> what would this be as an improper so number? three times three is nine. Nine, ten over plus three. Plus one is ten. Okay, so this is actually ten over three percent. Okay. So, if it's over percent, how do I get rid of this percent? Um, By putting it over... 100? 100. So, stay with me. This is going to look weird. What? 10 thirds divided by 100. Now, let me show it in the form that you're used to your eyes seeing it. 10 thirds divided by 100. That looks better, doesn't it? Now, what do I do if I want to make this into a fraction? I think you can just 100 over 1. 100 over 1. Very good. Okay. Okay. Now, what happens this? Because you can't divide fractions. 10. You have to what? Okay. Then you do 1 over 100. Wait, and what, then what am I times. doing though? Times. Times. Multiplying. So I change this to multiplying. When I do that, the That's number true. to the right, fraction to the right, changes it to its reciprocal. Very good. Now, let's figure it out. Okay, now first of all, before we do that, can I reduce either way? Uh, I think 10 and 100. Yeah, now. 10 will go into 10 one, one time. time. 10 will go into 100 10 times. Now, let me go and erase this. Okay, so now 1 times 1 is 1. <coughs> 3 times answer. 10 is 30. So, this is the fraction form of 3 and a third percent. Three and a third, third percent is this as a fraction. Got it? Mm -hmm. Feel like you got it? Let's do one more. <coughs> okay. Um, this is A on your lesson practice, so you don't have to do it. Okay. Convert 66 and two-thirds percent into a fraction. Okay. What's my well... first step? What's my first step? I'm not sure. I think you would make it into a improper. Very right? good. Okay, so let's go and do that. 66 times 3, I don't know. 6 times 3, 18. 6 times 3, 18, 19. 198 plus 2 is 199. Uh, 200. Yeah. 200 yeah. over 3%. Now, how do I make get rid of that percent? I put it over 100. Very good. 
but that's not how our eyes see that. So you do it divided by 100. Over one. Over one. Times one over 100 <coughs> and then multiply. Very good. So that's times one over 100. Now, can I reduce? Yes, I think. 200 to 100. Yep, so 100 goes into both of them, right? 100 one. goes into 100 one time, mm -hmm. then two times. Very good. So now two times one is two. two. Three times one is three. So 66 and two thirds percent is two thirds. So what that means is look at this. For example, if I was, if this is 100%, okay, then two thirds would be, would that make up about 66 and two thirds percent? Mm -hmm. Something like that, because we know we still have about 33, something like that left, right? Something like that. All right, so that's how we know that that's, I mean, you know it's correct because we did it, but you could actually draw it and look at it if you wanted to, okay? That's lesson 115.